nights ago. It doesn't mean a lot talking about matchup in a basketball game. Yeah, especially tournament time. Tournament time, anybody can win on an any given night. If uh, Fond du Lac isn't shooting the way that they're accustomed to shooting, if the shots aren't falling and they're falling for South, South can very easily come away with the victory tonight. Fond du Lac has to come out with the intensity that they came out against against Sheboygan North earlier this week, and uh, hopefully the shots will fall, and it's going to be a good test for them tonight. Uh, this is a place that they haven't won in a lot. Uh, they've maybe 500 here. And uh, last year they uh, got knocked out of the tournament to sh from Sheboygan South. So it's a tough place to play for Fond du Lac. Absolutely right, Nick. Uh, you're exactly right. They are 4-4 four and four in this uh, arena over the course of Dick Diener's coaching career. Uh, just re I'm sure these kids are thinking of a year ago today. No, this exact date, but the same game. Uh, I sat at this very table that we're going to be calling the game from today. A game which Fond du Lac controlled over Sheboygan South for about two and a half quarters. Then all of a sudden, uh, Sheboygan South put some heavy-duty pressure on, forced Fond du Lac into uh, many unforced turnovers, a lot of turnovers late in that basketball game, and it actually throttled uh, a shocker as Sheboygan and Fond du Lac ended their season here last year. They haven't forgotten that. Yeah, they... Uh Dick had them watch the tapes from last year's game and kind of get that memory back in their mind, the bitterness of the loss, so and get them wanting to get motivated and come out and win this game. That was a tough loss last season, a loss that they did not want to have. They had a lot of momentum going into the game, and then uh, an upsetting loss. They beat North last year in the first game and then lost. So tonight, uh, or today actually, it's going to be another uh, game that it's going to be a tough one that Fond du Lac has to come here and play and play four quarters of play, and they, the key for them is they cannot turn over the basketball, and uh, if they don't turn over the basketball, they should win today. That's what it all comes down to right here from the Red Wing Arena in Sheboygan. We'll be right back with tonight's starting lineups right after this on your final lap Cardinal tournament report. Wherever you are, you can get Colonel Sanders' original recipe chicken delivered. Eight irresistible pieces, two sides, and four biscuits, just $10.99. $10.99. I'm begging you now. Is that an extra drumstick? Isn't it time for some really good chicken? Thinking of buying a new vehicle? Think Lens. Our factory warranty is important? Think Lens. Want follow-up service after the sale? Lens again. With over 30 years of experience and $2 million of inventory, Lens's unsurpassed quality vehicles include one owner new truck trade-ins covered under the original factory warranty or backed by the Lens sales and service personalized warranty. So think Lens. Fond du Lac's exclusive Snowway, Snowplow dealer and truck center of choice. And see our complete line of Lund truck accessories. Think Lens. Once again, welcome back to the Red Wing Arena in Sheboygan. I guess I've been calling the arena, field house, gym, one of those, all of the above. <laughs> Call it what you wish. Regional championship, the winner of this game will move on to the sectionals at the Cove Sports Arena in Oshkosh next Friday night. That game would be the latter of the two games at 8 o'clock start. Right now, let's pick up the starters for each team.
have these darn lamps. The sound system in here, not as good as I suspected it would be. But uh, a somewhat sparse crowd. I mean, it's a good crowd at hand, but I guess somewhat disturbing that neither team was able to sell out their tickets, Nick. Yeah, you would think a big game like this, a uh, regional championship, you'd be able to sell out the game. But uh, tonight, both teams, Sheboygan and Fond du Lac, could not sell out. So, uh, yeah, not really a great crowd, but uh, it's decent. So, uh, by the way, we are sharing uh, video with Sheboygan uh, Marcus Cable. Uh, they took our video feed on Tuesday night, and or uh, Sheboygan Cable, I should say. We work work uh, back and forth with them. So if things look a little bit different than they normally do, uh, that would be the reason why. About ready, Fond du wearing their red uniforms once again, and they control the opening tip-off, or Dark Maroon, whichever you wish. Drew Diener will work the ball. Fond du going left to right on your television screen. The bad pass tipped up there by Gebler. And Ryan Gebler will bring it across the timeline for the Red Wings. As I mentioned in the pregame, Fond du cannot turn over the basketball in their first possession, they did. Work it to the near side coffin corner. Now they reel it, in, but they give it right back to Fond du Turnover there on Bergman, loses the handle of the basketball. Drew Diener with a three on the way, back of the rim, no good. Jekyll on the board, to the hoop. Gives it off to Drew Diener, got it! Nice pass from J.C. Jekyll to Andy Rose. Rose right, and Rose gets the bucket. Fondelac leads it two to nothing here, just underway from the Red Ring Fieldhouse in Sheboygan. On the baseline, ball given to Bergman, working inside, off the glass, not it up at two. That time, Travis Diener could not defend him. He, could, he did all he could do, but uh, couldn't stop Bergman. So it's... All knotted up at two all, just under seven to go in the opening quarter of play from Sheboygan. Regional final. Final act, Drew Diener with the basketball above the ring. Swing pass to the far side, near side actually, from your cameras. We're on the opposite side. Loud pass inside, looking for Rose, but a little bit long, out of bounds. And another turnover for Fond du Lac. Second turnover in the game for Fond du Lac here early on. That's a big key. Fond du Lac cannot turn over the basketball if they want to beat so. So point guard Nate Bergman brings the ball across the timeline to the far side of the court. Uh, works it back between the rings, give it off there. To Ryan Stubby, lead scorer this basketball team, averaging 16 and a half a game. And the only returning starter for South from last year's team. Cutting inside to Kerwin, off the glass, no good, gets his own rebound, up a second time, still no good. Fadalax comes down with the board, Travis Diener. Quickly down court, give it off. The Jekyll inside, running one-hander goes Casey Jekyll. Nice, strong move from Casey Jekyll. You've seen him make a lot of those moves against North earlier this week, and he continues to take it strong. Bondelak leading it by two at four to two. Your KFC score, just under six to go in the first. Stubby shot, no good, fouled up there, and put back in by Kerwin. And offensive glass for Kerwin. Yep, second offensive board in this game for South. Bondelak has to box out and make sure they get the defensive rebounds. All knotted up at four now, with 5.40 to go in the first. Mike Koenig at the basketball between the rings, works it to the back to the near side, Casey Jekyll. Now it's Travis, a three ball on the way for Diener, front of the rim, but a foul underneath. It's gonna go against Sheboygan South, we'll check it. Might be Wolfel. We'll wait and see, they post it. That's who it is. Mark Wolfel gets the personal first team. Off the inbounds pass, the Coffin corner, it was Casey Jekyll for his fourth point. Jekyll's been involved in all six of Fond du Lac's points, either passing or four points on making a bucket. Off the sidewalk, Bergman shot is long, Jekyll with the board, he's been active, ball tipped away, still free in the backcourt, picked up by Saul, three ball on the way, good! From Ryan Stubby. They'll shoot a lot of great point baskets, Stubby 37%. From the three-point arc this season. Well, it was turnovers that have been a factor in this game thus far. Fond du Lac turning it over three times, leading directly to points. Drew Diener with the basketball. They leave him open. He tries a tray and does it himself. Drew Diener. You can't leave Drew Diener wide open on a three-point shot because he'll hit it. Interesting. They had him doubled up, but both players uh, released him at the same time, and Drew was wide open. Off the baseline, shot taken by Wolfel. He knocks it home. A back and forth game here early on. Both teams really intense. A lot of offense. Both teams shooting the basketball very well. Knotted up at nine with 4.20 to go. Mike Koenigs with the basketball. Left side sidewalk. 
Kicks it back out to Jekyll. Wants to penetrate. No, look away. Pass to Rose. Good. Nice pass. Second good pass of the first quarter for Casey Jekyll. Andy Rose finished it on that one. Rose does a nice job of pulling up after receiving that pass and avoiding the offensive foul. Traveling here on Nate Bergman. Fondelak gets it back, leading it by a bucket. Second turnover in the basketball game for South. As you mentioned before, Fondelak has three turnovers here in the first quarter of play. Fondelak goes to the bench. Danny Shrum in. South the counters with Ryan Hemsing. Dan Shrum had a big game against North earlier this week, taking it strong to the hoop, grabbing a lot of rebounds. So expect Danny Shrum to be a big factor in tonight's or today's game. Blocking foul here is going to be called on Nate Bergman. A little bump on Travis Diener. It'll be his first, the second team, with 3.55 to go in the opening quarter of play. Bottleneck going right back to the Pines. They're going to bring in Mark Simon and Nick Langraff in for South. Simon's seen a lot of playing time towards the end of the season for Fond du Lac and has, he has done a solid job. Travis Diener with the basketball, left. Now swinging between the rings. Shrum back to Diener, lob pass inside to Andy Rose. Posts up, now kicks it back out. Swing pass, near side of the court. Drew Diener slips but keeps his dribble. Looking to Shrum, can't get it there. Gotta get some help, skip pass, far side, got Travis. Now back to Drew, pulls up inside the arc. No good, gets his own rebound. A second time, no, gives to Andy Rose on the baseline. Andy knocks it down from 12. Bonilek is doing exactly what they did against North, taking their time, finding the open shot. That time, Drew grabbing the offensive board and kicking it out to Andy Rose, and he hit it. Andy with six points in the basketball game already. That's always a good sign to get him involved early. Reading one-hander is going to go. Let's see if they count it. I think they will, yes. And the foul is going to go on Bonilek's Mark Simon, his first. Big two-point play, possibly a three-point play for Salt. That one hurts, as we mentioned. Whenever you foul, you always want to make sure that they don't get the basket, and that time Salt did. Gebler to the free throw line after getting the bucket. Gebler, 82% free throw shooter for Salt. Salt really doesn't have many good free throw shooters. Bergman at 47%, and uh, Wolfel at 44%, and uh, Stubby 81%. So uh, really not a whole lot of good free throw shooters. Jekyll and Koenig's back in for Fond du Lac. Rogers comes in for his first time, and a six-foot junior, Chris Rogers. Free throw rims, it comes out. Fond du Lac with the board. And as you mentioned, Nick, uh, that has been a problem for South all season long, is free throw shooting. Mike Koenig's back to the basketball. Fond du Lac trailing it here by a bucket. Off the baseline. Give it back to Mike Kanix. Drew Diener. Forces one up. Got the pressure. Probably should have been a call. No whistle. And here comes Bergman. Give it off. Left side. Near side of the court. And fall away from the basketball. I think they're going to call Kanix. Very late whistle that time by the officials. Down on the ground with Bergman. And then Kanix fell over him. And then they called the foul. Mike Kanix picks up his first personal foul. So the Red Wings inbound the basketball side court right in front of the Fond du Lac bench. Get it into Bergman. Looking for backdoor cutter. They got him there. It's Kerwin. Defensive man slumps and falls down. That was Drew Diener. Yep, Drew Diener fell down that time in a wide open bucket for Sheboygan South. Kerwin with four points in the basketball game. And we're all knotted up at 13 all. Fond du Lac was up. They had the back scoreboard wrong before. Now we're knotted up at 13. And a foul is going to be whistled. I don't know who they got it on. It's on self. I know that. Yep, it's on number 25, Ryan Gebler. Well, Gebler picks up his first. The he is complaining, but I think he did a little Academy Award job on that one. He kind of fell down as Drew, as he bumped Drew Diener. We're working off the end zone on the opposite end of the court, so we couldn't see real clearly what happened there. Jekyll with the ball. Get it off to Drew Diener as he steps out to pick it up. Drew, ball high above his head, now bounce pass to the far side, near side of the court. Back to Shrum, now Jekyll on the left side sidewalk. Looking inside, wants to find a cutter. He's got Shrum posted, can't give him the basketball. They reload the offense to the top. Good patience for Fondelac like again, down on the court. Canix with it. Lob pass. 
Inside, now Mike to Jekyll. Just inside the three-point arc, back to Mike Koenigs. 1.45 to go in the, third, in the first quarter of play. All knotted up at 13. Koenigs to Jekyll. Monolak low stagnant offensively right now. Jekyll forces one, didn't go, but run down by Koenigs. Loses the handle on it, out of bounds, back to the Red Wings. Well, first time this basketball game, final act of that series, uh, rather stated offensively, seemed to be a little confused at what they wanted to do. Yeah, Sheboygan South doing a good job defensively, not allowing final act an open shot, and final act really didn't know what to do. Good job by South that time on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, South trying to get on top of this basketball game. Inside, running one-hander is good from Stubby. And South on a little bit of a run now. They've hit their last three field goal shots. And it's now 15-13 in favor of the South Red Wings. Canix with the basketball. <laughs> Give it over to Jekyll, to Travis Diener now. One minute left in the first. Diener bump, bang, no call, gets it off to Jekyll on the left side. Now back to Travis Diener. Shrum, Danny looks to post up, he's got Drew down there. Turnaround shot, rims, and no good. Tipped once and put in by Dan Shrum. Good nice job. job by Shrummy. Great job by Shrummy that time, tipping it back. He had the position for the offensive board and just tipped it back in for Fond du Lac. All knotted up at 15, 34 seconds to go in the first. Shot uh, put up there by Stubby, run down by Mike Koenix. Fond du Lac should probably be looking for the last one. With 22 seconds to go. Travis Diener takes it across the timeline, then slows it down. Clock continues to roll, 14 seconds. Down to 10, now they'll get in their offense. Travis loses the handle, tipped to the backcourt. Put in time, look out, backdoor. Got Jekyll up off the glass, good! Casey Jekyll! Nice, strong move by Casey for the Cardinals and end it with a basket. And we've Dick just gotten the basketball game. We've come to the end of one here from the Red Wing Arena. After one, it's final act, 17, Sheboygan South, 15. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sheboygan. After one, Fondelac leads it by a bucket. Nick, those first quarter numbers. All right, first for Fondelac, 8 of 14 from the field for 57%. Seven rebounds and four turnovers. For Sheboygan South, 7 of 11 from the field for 64%. Four rebounds and two turnovers. And the uh, officials getting together here is, uh, you heard those numbers. Uh, Bob Lloyd, the assistant uh, coach, head JV coach, Went over and as they're about to inbound and talked to uh, one of the officials and now they're getting together. I don't know if there's a, now they're bringing both coaches to the timetable. I wonder if there's a possibility of maybe forgetting to rotate the possession arrow. Don't know, just an ops, I guess I get, would say. Well, while they're doing that, let me remind you, today's game brought to you by Call Insurance of Fond du Lac, who's joined forces with the Jackson Agency to form one great agency under the same roof at the corner of Sheboygan and Marr. That's Bob Call and Bob Jackson because they work for themselves, they work harder for you. Give them a call at 923-4020. And Holland Carpentry and Repair, providing quality remodeling and complete home repairs to the area for the past 17 years. Call 921-6493, that's Holland Carpentry and Repair. Well, all settled away and we're underway here to start the second. South with the basketball, ball free on the floor, picked up there by Jekyll, takes it away, good hands. Casey Jekyll working inside with the does a little pickpocket job. Travis had a big first half of play for Fond du Lac. Yeah, he really has. Uh, six points go along with an overall great game. Drew Diener off the baseline, no good. Tip by Shrum to Jekyll. Nice job by Dan Shrum. Couldn't get the ball himself or been over the back, but able to keep it alive and find it to his teammate. Jekyll, back to Drew Diener. Fond du Lac being patient offensively. Casey Jekyll on the right side sidewalk to Andy Rose High. 
Bonilak working inside now. Original starting lineup with the exception of having Shrum in for Kinnix. Shrum there, pulls up from 12, got it! Nice shot by Shrummy. I mentioned he had a big game against North and right now in the first half of play has done a solid job tipping it back and now that open bucket for Shrummy. Final expert, biggest lead of the basketball game by four, 19-15. Your KFC score, Stubby pump fakes, gets it up in the air. No good, run down there by South, kept alive by Kerwin. Now inside to Cutter, tipped away. And Fonlak comes away with a loose ball there. Hemings, Hemsing, I should say, had the ball, lost the handle. Fonlak away with it. Drew Diener, rims won't go. Just inside the three-point arc. Here comes Ryan Stubby. Now check that. No, that's Stubby. Working inside, running one hand, a reverse lamp there from Kerwin. Andy Rose couldn't fight through a pick that time, and wide open underneath was Kerwin for the basket. Final lack by two. Running one hander inside, maybe not a good shot there. I think Travis is trying to draw the foul, didn't get it. To the bucket, count it, and a foul. Big play for Casey Jekyll. Huge first half of play for the Final Act Cardinals that time taking it strong to the hoop. Jekyll working that baseline, gets there in a big hurry with the leaner. Ball will go, uh, let's see if they haven't posted it yet. And it's gonna be on Kerwin, his first. And we've got a 20 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. Take this time to remind you, nice action brought to you by Dieter, painting and okay, by Minolsky Welding Corporation. For structure or ornamental steel, it's Minelski. Plus, see them for your fire protection needs, both industrial or residential. Minelski Welding is at 200 North Main. And the Final Act Mosaic Tile Company. Ceramic and quarry tile, slate, and marble. All installed by our professional craftsmen since 1948. Final Act Mosaic Tile. Call 922-2910. And a 20-second timeout taken there by Sheboygan South. So back to the free throw line. Now we'll go Jekyll to try to complete the three-point play. Jekyll with eight points, leading the way for Fond du Lac. Rose with six. Shrub. Free throw on the way. Makes it 22-17 now in favor of your Fond du Lac Cardinals by five. Birchman across the timeline. Working it back to the near side of the court. That's Kerwin back to Birchman high. Now it's uh, Ryan Gibbler back to Bergman. Working the baseline in the ball game, laying the graph. High pass, almost thrown away, picked up there by Gibbler, however. Penetrates, pulls up, cut off nicely by Drew Diener. Shot blocked there, and here comes Jekyll, uh, cheating on the break. Up and foul, no, it is a block. The finish off by Drew Diener, that was a heck of a defensive effort. Yeah, good job. Uh, looked like he got hammered on that one, but Drew was there to put it back. Well, again, that's at the opposite end, more sitting, yep. so. Uh, I'll say it was a good play, but Drew Diener right there following up. Good hustle. Ball kicked out of bounds. We'll go back to final uh, to uh, South. But right now, South wants another timeout. Fondelac got a little bit of a run. South notices it and takes a timeout. It's a full timeout of the court with 5.22 to go. Fondelac leads it 24-17. No job too large or small for Spee's painting and decorating. So whether your needs are residential, commercial, or industrial, the crew from Spee's can handle it. Call Spee's at 921-7107. Spee's Painting and Decorating. Back at Sheboygan, 5.22 to go in the first half of play. Final act leads at 22-14. And let two Spee's... There are a couple of common opponents between these two teams. Of course, Sheboygan North, who Final Act just beat Tuesday night. Uh, North beat Sheboygan South twice. Another common opponent is uh, Nina, who uh, was a co-champion in the Fox Valley Association with Final Act. And in the second game of the season, South beats Nina 71-57 right here in Sheboygan. Yeah, and they beat him pretty handily. And uh, a, a big factor is Sheboygan's home, home court. Being at home, that's a big factor, especially in the playoffs. Yeah, Sheboygan had run off on quite a winning streak. He got home until uh, their, I 
I believe it was their second last game of the season uh, got knocked off here. So Stubby with the basketball. He works the ball around the ring all by himself on a dribble. Give it back to Bergman, top of the key. Now it's Gibbler. Ryan to the near side, right side, Coffin corner, Kerwin. Skip pass to the far side, Bergman with it. Leave him open on the baseline. Shot taken there by Rogers. Draws nothing but air, but we got a foul. I think we got Shrum over the back. If it is, it'll be his first. And we'll wait till they post it. That's what it is. So South will inbound the basketball right in front of us. With the honors is Nate Bergman. Obviously, nobody moving. Finally, they get it in to Stubby. He's got to run it down in the corner. To the hoop, foul. Oh, they're going to call foul on, on Andy Rose. Uh, man, it was, I'll tell you, that was a pretty good block. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see him get an arm at all. It looked like a really good block that time by first, Andy Rose. Her first personal there for Andy. Now, I think that was a, a good block right there. Maybe a little bit of an anticipated, anticipated call by the official. Stubby to the free throw line, uh, gets the first, will get one more. Stubby, 81% free throw shooter on the season. Yes, he's the one exception to the poor free throw shooting that South uh, has had over the season. Second one, he misses, however. Nice box out by the Cardinals. 24-18. Ball stripped from Shrum as he's going to the hoop. Fondlack moves the ball up quickly and will go back to the Cardinals at 4.45 to go in the first half of play. Diener inbound the basketball, gets it in. Wide open, Jaco on the baseline, got it! Casey Jaco continues to be red hot from the field for Fondlack. He's doing everything so far here in the first half of play. Stubby at the basketball. Fondlack's biggest lead of the game right now. But by eight, Jaco with another board. Casey Jaco has been huge inside. Has really done a great job. Shrum with the basketball. Travis takes it to the paint, pulls up there. Jaco off the baseline. Puts one up off the glass, no good. Pulled down there by South. Here they come on the run. Bergman up the far side of the court. Swing it between the rings. Now a skip a pass back to Stubby, but he had to run it down before it went out of bounds. Through the timing of the whole sequence off, so they just reset the offense. Gebler with the basketball. Near side of the court, now back swing pass over to Bergman, working against Travis Diener. Travis cuts him off at the bucket, nice job defensively. Shot blocked there from Stubby, good job by Rose, and a foul. Great job by Andy Rose that time. He timed it perfectly and stuck it right back. And I think Stubby's going to get the personal foul also. I know he'll come out of the basketball game. It is his first as he comes out. And that's a big loss. The only returning starter from last year's team, as you mentioned early on, for Cell. Well, he won't be out too long, I guarantee you that. Yep. That's just to give him a little breather and uh, maybe a, just to talk to him because he's had a couple shots blocked and they obviously don't want him getting frustrated. Drew off. Ballas throws it up at the hoop. Pulled down there by Kerwin. Give it to Gebler. Penetrates. Take it to the glass. Blocking foul on Andy Rose. His second. Rose tried to force the offensive foul, but got in position just a here late and gets called for the blocking foul. And here comes Dan Shrum, I'm sure, for Andy. And that's right. Rose will get a breather here. Trump back into the game. So to the free throw line, shooting a pair is Ryan Gebler. Gets the first, one more to follow. Gebler, their other pretty good free throw shooter at 82%, their best free throw shooter. Second on the way, also good. And back to a six point lead for Fond du Lac with 3.10 to go in the opening quarter, or opening half of play, I should say, from Sheboygan. 
Dan Shrum, the basketball, skips it to the near side, now swing it back. Koenix wide open at the three-point arc, gives it off there to Casey Jekyll. Back to Shrum. Shrum's got an opening to the glass, hard, there he goes, laid off. Nice, strong move by Danny Shrum, continues to take it hard. He's had a big first half of play along with Casey Jekyll. Shrum with six points and a half off the Pines. Bonlack back to eight, their biggest lead of the basketball game. Bergman, now near side's Gibbler. Bring it back, shot pull up there's Kerwin, short off the front of the rim. Bonlack doing a good job on the boards. Uh, gave up a couple offensive boards uh, early in this basketball game, but have done a great job since that time. Sheboygan one of six from the field here in the second quarter. Ball out of bounds. We'll say last touch there by Bergman, and it will go back to the Cardinals. Chris Rogers back in for South. As, let's see, who's gonna come off over there? It's going to be Mark Wolfow. Cardinals inbound to basketball. Travis Diener working the point guard. 2.14 to go. Tipped out of bounds, back to Fond du Lac. 28-20, your KFC score. Cardinals out front of the Red Wings of Sheboygan South. Uh, Cardinals inbound in the backcourt. Travis Diener with it. Cut off nicely. Give it to Koenigs. Now it's Jekyll. Found that good ball movement. Look out back door. They got Shrum. Baby Sky hook. Book it. Play by Shrum, but that play was created by Drew Diener. Nice pass. Look for the jumper. Seen Shrum the underneath open, and he gave it to him. Uh, that's a sign of a great, great player. To the hoop. Bergman lays it in. Nice move by Bergman. Only the second field goal here in the second quarter for Sheboygan himself. Uh, going back to that last series you talked about, Nick, uh, Drew was going to take it up and take the shot, but saw the backdoor play there developing, got it to Shrum underneath. And Drew's been struggling a little bit here in the first half of play, and his shots aren't falling, so he's giving it off to the block guys. Drew with five points, and uh, you, you, you uh, begin uh, to expect so much from Drew Diener. Yep. He's a good passer as well, one of the better, better passers for Fond du Lac. Drew's three ball is long on the rim, pulled down by Jekyll, off the glass, got it to two more, Casey Jekyll. Another offensive board for Casey Jekyll. He's just doing everything right now for Fond du Lac. 13 points here in the first half of play. He has been a one-man wrecking crew. Fond du Lac up by 10, biggest lead of the basketball game. Inside of a minute to play here in the first half. South worked the baseline, Gebler cut off by Jekyll. Set the screen, now they're trying to uh, get it down low, can't. Inside to Rogers. Pumps once, blocked there by Shrum. Fondelak's come up with about six blocks in his basketball game. Cardinals with 35 seconds to go, they're gonna look for the last shot. 30 seconds. Kenix with it high above his head. Now puts it to the court, work it back to Jaco, double up there on the sidewalk to Kenix now. 22 seconds to go, clock rolling. Skip pass, Jaco, 15. Rotate the basketball, now in the hands of Drew Diener. Inside of 10. Drew loses the handle, picks it up. Oh, stripped there by Bergman. Black rolling, three, two, one. Lays it up, gets it. So Self gets a break here to close out the first half of play. But Final Act still leads it after one half, 32-24. Good first half of play for the Final Act Cardinals. Probably not the way you want to close out that last 10 seconds. But at this point, the Cardinals have to be very happy where they are. A great first half of basketball. Well, we remind you, our halftime activities today brought to you by Baker String Cheese. With only 79 calories in each stick, the perfect snack food for the kids. The fun food that's so easy, just peel and eat. And it's healthy for you. High protein, 100% natural. That's Baker String Cheese, the official halftime snack food of the video sports team, available at fine food stores everywhere. Halftime brought to you by Lens Sales and Service. Stop in for a test drive and check out the Snowway Snowplows at Jerry Lens Sales and Service of Fond du Lac. And halftime brought to you by KFC featuring home delivery. Take the half of all mealtime with KFC. Well, half this game in the books from the Red Wing Arena in Sheboygan. After one half a play, it's Fond du Lac 32, Sheboygan South 24. Nick and I will be right back to recap the first half Take a look at the scoring and 
stats right after this on your Cardinal Basketball Report. All right, let's go get him. Come on, Dad. All right, let's hit the hardwood. Come on. Let's take the floor. All right. Now, wherever you are, you can get Colonel Sanders' original recipe chicken delivered. Eight irresistible pieces, two sides, and four biscuits, just $10.99. $10.99. I'm begging you now. Your drumstick. Isn't it time for some really good chicken? Thinking of buying a new vehicle? Think Lens. Our factory warranty is important? Think Lens. Want follow-up service after the sale? Lens again. With over 30 years of experience and $2 million of inventory, Lens's unsurpassed quality vehicles include one owner new truck trade-ins covered under the original factory warranty or backed by the Lens sales and service personalized warranty. So think Lens. Fond du Lac's exclusive Snowway, Snowplow dealer, and truck center of choice. And see our complete line of Lund truck equipment. Welcome back to the Red, the Red Wing Fuel House on the campus of Sheboygan South High School. At halftime, it's Fond du Lac 32, Sheboygan South 24. And Nick, uh, the first quarter, first half, I should say, has been a two-man story, really. The difference in this game has been number one, Casey Jekyll, has been huge all over the court, offensively and defensively. Danny Shrum and off the Pines had a great game also. Yeah, Drew Diener has struggled in the first half of play, but that's a credit to Sheboygan South defense because they're keying on him. So that means other guys have to step up and... Casey Jekyll has stepped up really big for Fond du Lac, as well as Danny Shrum. Both guys doing a good job on the boards and putting shots in. So both those guys are having great first halves of play. We'll give you stats when we come back right after this on your Cardinal Basketball Report. The Clinic of Orthopedic Surgery has a board of certified surgeons to help you. So whether a condition exists for weekend warriorism, work, or around the house, the doctors at the Clinic of Orthopedic Surgery can help. Before you head to the rink this season, you have to stop first at the Sports Shop 2 or the Pony Box. They both have a full line of our CCM and Mega Gear and a new line of figure skates from Rydell to Lake Placid. That's the Sports Shop 2 and the Penalty Box. Welcome back to the Redbird Arena. We're just about ready for the second half of play. Let's first take a quick look at the for the first half. Final act 15 of 28 for 54%. One of one from the charity strike for 100%. 17 rebounds and four turnovers. Four cell, 10 of 20 from the field for 50%. Three of five from the charity strike for 60%. Eight rebounds and four turnovers. Off the inbound, Falak gets it converted. Nice bounce pass, in the, and he rolls inside. He lays it off the glass. Good entry pass there from Travis Diener on the assist. Falak wasting no time on getting the lead back up to 10. And that, that matches their biggest lead of the basketball game. We'll see how they come back with Sheboygan now. Bergman pulls up inside the paint. His shot rims won't go. Tip back deep into the, near the timeline. Save from going out of bounds. Good job there by the uh, Red Wings, and right down Main Street, it's Ryan Stubby for two. Yep, wide open, wide open paint, and he put it in. 7.05 to go, Fond du Lac leads it by eight. We're taking a look at the first half scoring on our first uh, break here. Oh, I was informed from downstairs, we already did have it up. Ball tipped away. But as you saw then, uh, Fond du Lac was, Fond du Lac was led by Jacob with 13 and Shrum with eight. And three players with six points each for South. Travis to the glass off it, got it, Travis Diener. Good move by Travis Diener, taking it strong into the paint. He can do that really good, and he put it in for Fond du Lac. Travis picks up his first points in the basketball game, coming off a very solid game uh, on the home court here on Tuesday night. Ball tipped away, Fond du Lac with it. Leading it by 10, chance to go up by more than the up to a dozen here with a bucket. Travis again penetrates. Now looking back door. However, tipped away there by Bergman. Picked up by Kerwin for South. Travis was undecided whether he wanted to pass it or to shoot it. And that time, uh, late pass, and it was a turnover. Yeah, not to bring up a bad topic, Nick, but this is game is right about where it was at this point last year. Uh, as we were finally up with about a 10-point lead here, and then things went sour late in the third quarter, and in the fourth, got real bad. So, yep. Fondelac needs to keep the intensity up at this point of the basketball game. 
Turnaround one-hander there from Stubby is good. Good job by Stubby taking it strong to the lane. Stubby averaging 16 points a game, their leading scorer for Sheboygan South. Back to an eight-point Fond du Lac lead. Mike Canning with the basketball. Work it to the near side in front of the Fond du Lac bench to Rose. Now rotating around, it's Drew Diener. Drew with the basketball above the head. Gives it to Travis. Now it's Jaco. Rose for the free throw line. Good, Andy Rose. Wide open, Andy Rose. Fond du Lac sizzling here in the second half of play. Three of three to start off. And back to a 10-point lead with 5-12 to go in the third. Birchman inside. Might have been a travel there from Debler. No whistle. Knocked out of bounds. Go back to the Red Wings. End of the basketball game for South is Ryan Hemsing. So South inbound to basketball. They get it into Hemsing. He wants to reload the offense to set it up. Battles the floor a little bit. Give it off to Gebler between the rings. Back to Hemsing. South, the student body, trying to get things rolling here. They're bounding on the bleachers in front of us. Shot on the way from Gebler. Rims and falls. South also sizzling from the field. They're three of four here. Both teams exchanging a lot of baskets to start off the second half of play. And we're right where we were at halftime. Fond du Lac with an eight-point lead. Travis Diener with it. Ball above the head, give it to Mike Canix. Man to man defense can, continues for South. Drew Diener, three ball on the way, rims won't go. And here comes South off the rebound. Stubby with it. Three ball from Gebler, good! Big three point basket and South is on fire and Fond du gonna call a timeout. And, and they're gonna take that it. timeout. We'll check and see what it is. They haven't signaled yet. A full timeout on the court. 4.07 to go. It's Fond du Lac 38, Sheboygan South 33. All four. There's no job too large or small for Spee's painting and decorating. So whether your needs are residential, commercial, or industrial, the crew from Spee's can handle it. Call Spee's at 921-7107. Spee's Painting and Decorating. Back at the Red Wing Arena. 38-33, final act leads it. But Dick Diener taking a quick time out there, not the wanting this thing to get any closer than it is. Feels the run coming here from South. Solely, Cardinals inbound bound the basketball from the end court. Travis Diener with it, working against Hemsing. No problem bringing it across. Cut off there at the baseline, give it to Andy Rose. Now skip pass, tipped to the backcourt, but Phoenix runs it down. Mike inside to Jaco. Got to get him involved once again offensively. Nice head and shoulders fake there. Bump, bang, blocking foul against Hemsing. It will be number one. And the first team foul here in the second half of play. Very nice head fake that time by Travis Diener. Got the Sheboygan South defense up in the air and took it to the hole and got a blocking foul. Drew Diener to pull the trigger inbound. Gets the road. Back to Jaco and reset the offense. Koenig's out high. Mike gives it off to Travis. Skip pass, far side of the court. Mike Koenig, back to Diener. Working a lot of perimeter. Final act needs to get some more backside help, backside screens to get to Jaco off the glass, good! Nice, strong move once again by Casey Jaco. Had two guys on him, but took it strong and put it in. Well, he's uh, undoubtedly been the player of the game for Final Lock thus far, and uh, when he got the hot hand, he got a feel of the basketball. Yep, like I mentioned, they're keying on Drew Diener, but they forgot about the other good players in the team. Casey Jaco, Andy Rose, Danny Shrum. Final Lock has a lot of stars, not just Drew Diener. Absolutely, it's a good blend, and Drew's gonna come out right now as Shrum comes in. South inbounds the basketball, Bridgman with it. To Stubby. 
Koenigs on him defensively. Tough assignment for Mike Koenigs. He usually draws that one. And a hold. It's going to go against Bonilak. Going to go on Koenigs, I believe. No, nope, Travis Diener. Travis Diener, okay. Yep. No, nope, you're right. Nope. No, <laughs> Koenigs picks up number two. I thought they were going to call Travis on that one. So, Bergman to inbound the ball underneath his basket. Side right, gets it in there to Wolfel. Give it off to Bergman once again, coming in from out of bounds. Looking back door, ball tipped off the glass. It's picked up by Stubby. He, he is able to convert it. Wide open underneath, and uh, five, of five, five of their last five and five of six in the third quarter is what Sheboygan South is shooting from the field. Well, that was just a matter of being in the right place at the right time as the ball was tipped by Fonelak, but it goes off the glass right to Stubby. Fonelak back offensively. Travis Diener trying to penetrate inside the paint. Bumping foul. Good job by per Travis on penetration there. Travis, one of the best penetrating guards in the Fox Valley Association this season, maybe even the state. He's really good on taking to the hole and usually dishing off or else finishing it. Follows against Bergman, his second. Well, he's really, I think, uh, come along uh, very, very well. Remember, he's only a freshman. Yep. On the way, gets number one. Travis, uh, an outstanding job at the free throw line Tuesday night, the eight for eight effort. In term of play, he's a perfect nine for nine. Make it 10 for 10. And when you have a tight basketball game, you want him on the court because that means there's going to be some fouls down the stretch. Yep. But he'll get a breather right now after hitting a pair as Mark Simon back in for Fond du Lac. 2.15 to go in the third. Cardinals lead it by seven. Kerwin with the basketball, working it high above his head. Off the pick, Persman swings around, gets it. Simon on him defensively, running one-hander there. You're going to get a final lack foul on Mark Simon. That will be his second. No te neither team really in foul trouble right now. No, Both nope. teams with two. Right, nobody with more than two fouls in the, in the entire basketball game. Bergman through the free throw line. For a pair, he, he uh, this is his first trip there tonight. Bergman, one of those guys struggling from the free throw line, 47% from the charity stripe this season. And on the, on the bench, Ryan Stubby apparently has a, a little blood on his forehead, must have got bumped. And they tried to patch it real quickly, but the official uh, came over and looked at it and says, no, that's not good enough. Yep, Got to get him out. That's uh, a good job of officiating. It's WIA rules. Cannot have any blood, and if you do, you got to come out of the game. Looks to be right on his forehead at the hairline. Uh, Might have got a little uh, head contact there someplace. And Bergman misses the front. We'll get one more. Second on the way. Misses a pair. Howard pulled down there by Wolfel. His shot's rejected. Howard's run down uh, by Sheboygan South. They reload the offense inside Kerwin. Now to the left side, Coffin corner. Bergman pulls up from 10. Bingo. Open jumper, and Sheboygan South has came out here in the third quarter and really done a good job of hitting their field goal shots. Back to a five-point edge. Simon with the basketball. Has a strip from behind, but a foul. Will go against Bergman. That's his third. That one hurts. He'll probably come out of a bas basketball game right now. You don't want him in foul trouble down the home stretch. Oh, he's the quarterback of that club. As coming back in, however, is Ryan Stubby. They've got him all cleaned up. And they're going to keep Bergman in the game. Right. Uh, he's their quarterback. And trailing it here and still being in the ball game, down by five. I think they need to feel it's important to have leadership on the court. Yep, uh, they're close right now, and they want to get back in this game. So Travis Diener brings it across the timeline. With the basketball and the yo-yo dribble, we'll give it to Dan Schrum, near side sidewalk. High above his head with the basketball. Lob inside to Jekyll, and a foul. They're gonna call a pushing foul on Kerwin. Uh, frankly, that's in front of us, Nick. I didn't see too much. Neither did I, just a little push in the back. It didn't look like, look like a the whole second. lot to uh, draw a whistle. Second personal foul there for Kerwin. But we won't complain. No, we will take it. But uh, just being honest, I didn't think it was much there. <laughs> Strum with the basketball. 
cutting back door. Drew Dieter, rims won't go, tip won't go. Jekyll with the board, has it stripped away. Safe and going out of bounds now, off the hands of Jekyll, out of bounds. Casey loses the handle, didn't like it, but I uh, I think that was a good call. His foot was on the line when he went out of bounds right in front of us. Yep, scrambling after the loose ball and uh, just stepped on the out of bounds line and turnover. Exactly 60 seconds to go here in the third quarter of play. Five point basketball game, it's been uh, a good game all the way through. Bergeron with it. Between the rings, give it to Kerwin. Uh, check that, that's Gibbler. Now inside, Stubby. Back on top of the key, working to the near side of the court. Bergman is going to penetrate, take it to the hole. Reverses it, give it off there, and a foul. Wolfo will be the recipient of the foul. We'll see who they uh, call it on for Fond du Lac. And it's on Drew Diener, his first. To the free throw line will go Kerwin. Kerwin 69% at the charity stripe this season. And has not shot one yet tonight. 41.2 left in the third. And he rolls in for Casey Jacob. I want to give Casey a little breather here. He'll have this 41 seconds plus the time between periods to get a solid three minutes probably. First is on the way and rims. Salt 0 for 3 here in the second half of play from the line. They are only 3 for 8. That's been their uh, Achilles heel this season. Yep, they've struggled all season from the charity stripe and they continue to. Second one is on the way. Grims and comes out. That's the pair. 0 for 4 here in this third quarter of play. So final lock looking to build on that 5 point lead. Mark Simon with the basketball to Drew Diener. Look for him uh, to take this down for last second shot once again. Down to 24 seconds. Travis to Drew. Back to Travis. Clock rolling, down to 15. To Simon. Now it's Drew Diener inside of 10. Bingo! Nice shot by Drew. He hasn't had a big game, but he's done the little things to help out the Cardinals. Shot on the way. No, we're going to get a foul. Seven tenths of a second to go. Got a whistle. Must be a final act foul. There's been a lot of whistles here in the second half. I think we got Drew Diener again. That's going to be my guess because he was slicing through on the defensive yep. side. That's who it is. His second. So now South will inbound the basketball with seven tenths left. Drew Casey Jacob is going to come right back in for trying to take away that lob pass inside. Yep, so can only hope for a tip in right now with seven tenths of the second left. Shot on the way, he'll count if it goes, but it rims and comes out. Come to the end of three here from Sheboygan South, your KFC score. Final at Cardinals 44, the South Red Wings 37. too large or small for Spies painting and decorating. So whether your needs are residential, commercial, or industrial, the crew from Spies can handle it. Call Spies at 921-107, Spies painting and decorating. The Clinic of Orthopedic Surgery has a board of certified surgeons to help you. So whether a condition exists for weekend warriorism, work, or around the house, the doctors at the Clinic of Orthopedic Surgery can help. Back here at the Red Wing Fieldhouse. Let's take a look at the third quarter stance for Fond du Lac. Five of seven from the field for 71%. Two rebounds and two turnovers for Sheboygan South. Six of nine from the field for 66%. Four rebounds and one turnover. So eight minutes to go for one of these teams. Fond du Lac has a comfortable lead. Three ball in the way. No good. Pulled down by Fond du Lac. Leading it by seven as we start the fourth quarter of play. Travis Diener. As Bergman falls down, back door to Jekyll, off the glass, book it! Nice move, strong move by Casey Jekyll. Travis Diener again on the penetration and kicked it off. That's where he's been great all season long. Cardinals again by nine. Bergman pulls up, 
Long gets nothing, but Howard fouled up there by Wolfel. Wolfel was right there, and it went right in his hands for the offensive board. And he was wide open, so he put it back in. Yeah, bad shot there by Birchman, but Wolfel crashing. Uh, got an easy late tip in. Seven point lead again for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Just over seven minutes to play. Baseline, Jaco reverse layup. Oh, didn't go. Good effort by Casey Jaco as he floats underneath the basket. Stubby. Gonna take it all the way to the glass. Pulls up. Underlays. Halver rebound there from Wolfel and a whistle. What do we have? Here comes Shrum as Jaco comes out. Okay, they're gonna call kicking, I guess, on Dieter, so south inbound the basketball. And they get it in, and the final act foul there. Might be Shrum, I think that's who it is. For Dan, it would be number two. Both teams still have some fouls to give here. Both teams with four fouls apiece, team-wise. But this basketball game right now, the fact that final act by far the much better free throw be a huge part of this game. Turnaround shot, no good from Wolfel, and a foul. They're gonna get Drew Diener over the back on that play, that's his third foul. See Mike Kanix right there, a little senior leadership, gathering everybody together, and saying, come on guys, let's pick up it here now, get the defense together. Yep, get our heads in the game, because they don't wanna be the team going home. And as you mentioned, the third foul there, and Drew. Long pass out on top to Stubby. They've done a good job on Stubby in this basketball game. Running one-hander inside, good! Off-balance shot for Stubby, and a good job on putting it in. As I say it, Stubby takes it to the court, to the hole and uh, knocks it in. Back Jinx to a five-point lead. And now the Sheboygan fans starting to hoop it up here a little bit. They're as close as they've been for a while. Drew Dieter, Tra Travis I should say. Now to Rose. The Shrunk. Cardinals spreading the offense a little bit now. Drew on the, with the basketball. Bump, blocking foul on Gebler. 6-12 left and both teams and their fans getting intense, trying to pull for their team. Gebler picks up his second. So right in front of us, Drew Dieter will inbound the ball. 6-12 to go. A lot of time left in this basketball game. Final act with a five point margin. But look for the Cardinals to be very patient offensively. Want only that high percentage shot. Travis Dieter. Throws back to Dieter now, 5.50 left. Cardinals working some clock. They're in no hurry to uh, put anything up. They don't have to, look out. Shrub loses the handle, out of bounds, had a turnover, back to South. And Final Act cannot afford turnovers here in the fourth quarter, their first turnover in the fourth. It'd be big right now for South to get a basket here. Yep, that would, that would be, it really would be a stubby basketball. Give it to Gebler. Now look out, tipped away, picked up by Fondelac. Not a good pass there, Andy Rose comes away with the loose ball. Big turnover, good job by the Fondelac defense. Travis with the basketball. Over here, Drew shot off the back rim, won't go. Picked up there by Birchman, and here they come on the run, trying to push, give it to the far side. Gebler cut off nicely. Good defensive job there, Kerwin now. He's gonna reset the offense and see Coach Dieter. A timeout's gonna be taken right now. We'll keep it. We'll keep it right here. Timeout on the court. And I believe it's gonna be, no, it's gonna be a 20, so we'll remind you tonight's action uh, brought to you by Dieter Painting and Decorating of Fond du Lac. They've been painting and decorating fine establishments in the area for over 20 years. Yours could be next, but only if you call 922-2629 as Dieter Painting and Decorating. Along with Jetstream Car Wash of Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac's original car wash since 1962. Their new oil loop center is now open. A free full service car wash with every oil change at Jetstream Car Wash Fond du Lac. So 
So South then bound the basketball. And again, having the opportunity to cut this inside of five. And the Nick have been able in the third quarter to be anywhere between that uh, seven, five point margin, but have not been able to crack this one. Yep, they have not been able to get under the five point mark. And if they did right now, that would be big. Back door lookout. Birchman loses a handle out of bounds. Back to the Cardinals. Both, both teams having a chance. Fondelac's defense steps up big. Fondelac has had a couple chances on the offensive side to put some points, and they haven't. So is Sheboygan South, and they haven't taken care of it. Yeah, the last two possessions, each team had a chance to go up more. Shrum, turn around, got it! Big basket for Danny Shrum, the senior, stepping up big in this game. Back to seven again. South had two chances to get it down inside of five, didn't do it. Now Fondelac, as the shot's blocked there by uh, Jekyll, and Fondelac runs it down, Shrum with it, and a foul. I believe Stubby will get the foul. Yep, for Stubby, his second. Fondelac has done a good job on him tonight as far as anticipating his shot. Jekyll had the block there. I think he has been blocked uh, about four times in this game. Rose, I remember, had one earlier in the basketball game. Now an important thing, both teams are in the bonus. And Fond du Lac, the better free throw shooting team. Absolutely. Rose, cutting back door, gives to Jekyll, now they reset. Fond du Lac obviously wants to work the clock right now, that's their ally, with 3.49 left, and rolling. Tipped into the backcourt, saved going out of bounds, what they're gonna say? They're gonna say it goes back to South. A scramble for loose ball, and Officials got together and finally go with the white team uniforms and it's Sheboygan South with a chance to get back to five. That was one that could have went either way. It was tough to tell from our angle. Both teams on the, both players on the ground scrambling for it and it went off on Fond du Lac. 3.45 left. Fond du Lac leaves it 48-41. Kebler in the basketball. Now it's Bergman. Cutting inside, ready one hand is good there from Kerwin. Nice passing in, wide open underneath. Kerwin puts it in for Sheboygan South. Well, back to that five point margin again. Final lack wants to expand it, once again keep him at bay. Travis pulls up inside the paint, forces one up, won't go. Rose with a big rebound, bodies all over the floor. Everybody gets up and resets the offense. Big offensive rebound, good job for Andy Rose for Fond du Lac. And a good job by Rose to reset, take the ball back out high. Casey Jekyll, back Fond to Jeter. Fond du Lac continues just to find the open shot, get the high percentage shot, run some time off the clock. And Travis is followed by Bergman. I see which one they call it. Could be Bergman or it could be Wolfel, but I think it'll be Bergman. We'll check it. And it is on, I haven't marked it yet, but it will be bonus, most importantly, the foul will go on Bergman, his fourth. Travis Diener, as you mentioned, we don't want to jinx him, but 10 of 10 from the charity stripe in the playoffs. And he'll have a one plus one here. First is on the way, good. He's got ice water in those veins. Second on the way, also good. Puts Fond du back up by seven. And timeout's gonna be taken by head coach Dan Koopman. Timeout on the court. Fond du leads it 50-43. have to stop first at the sports shop too or the pony box. They both have a full line of our CCM and Mega Gear and a new line of figure skates from Rydell to Lake Placid. That's the sports shop too and the penalty box. Hey, and we want to remind you tonight's action also brought to you by Mom Pa's Grocery Express on the corner of 12th of Maid. They've installed brand new gas pumps. Stop in while you're getting your gas, get a movie, some chicken after the game, all at Mom Pa's Grocery Express on 12th and Main. Also, Sunny 97, WFDL, with Tom Biolo and Greg Stensland on the call. Having, uh, they will uh, 
of course, are here this afternoon, but they'll leave here and uh, follow us up to Oshkosh North and have the Final Lap Gals basketball game against Appleton East. Final Lap Gals, uh, a chance to move on to the state tournament. That'll be a 645 pregame with Sunny 97 WFDL. We likewise will have that one for you later tonight at 10 o'clock. So South has got a big problem. Cardinals need to play some D and take care of the basketball. Kerwin turns around, uh, Gibbler that is off the glass, no good. Good, hard rebound there by Drew Diener. Cardinals double up in the backcourt, get it to Rose, now back to Travis. 2.20 to go in the game. Jekyll, Shrum, bump, bang, no call, get it back to Shrum. Final now skip pass, go ahead. Final X had a chance to take it to the hoop, but they're just keeping it out top. Backdoor, Shrum off the glass, got it! Nice pass from Casey Jekyll to Dan Shrum. And Fond du Lac's now up by nine with two minutes left. Have Fond du Lac well in control of this game right now. Looking to advance to the sectionals next Friday night. Looking backdoor, Stubby throws it away. He thought down low on the baseline, Kerwin was gonna cut to the basket, did not, and the ball just goes aimlessly out of bounds. Cardinals getting the ball across the timeline to Drew. They won't be in any hurry to take any shots. All they want to do is run that clock down. Drew with it. Swing it back high to Travis. Minute and a half left. And a foul. St. Dick Diener talking to his nephew, Travis. Paul will go against Gebler. That was his third. To the free throw line, Drew Diener. Drew uh, having a very quiet night. His first trip to the line, only seven points in the basketball game. Make it eight. And Drew had only 13 points last year in, this, in the game. But uh, tonight, a lot of other players have stepped up. Dan Shrum, Casey Jekyll, they've really taken the load off. Drew Diener's shoulders. Drew's second is also good. Bonilac by 11. I think that's their biggest lead of the basketball game. Yep. Gebler with it. Work it to the far side of the court. On the baseline, cut off there by Fondelac. Got to look for some threes. Shot blocked there by Drew. Picked up now by Travis to Drew. Take it to the hoop, foul. And Drew will go to the charity stripe. Follows going to go against Wolfel, his second. Drew was looking to put an exclamation point on this game for the dunk there, but a foul from behind for so. So a pair here, I think Final Lack will control this game anyway. You see Final Lack coach Dick Diener right there. Marty Craig to his right, assistant coach. And the thing with the Final Lack coaching staff, they won't stop coaching until the end of the game. Uh, Drew misses the first, the only he'll get. But Cardinals still uh, well into blocking foul here on Fond du Lac's Casey Jekyll, his first only. And that'll send Self to the free throw line to shoot a bonus without the clock running, but uh, Fond du Lac with a good 11 point lead with 107 remaining in this basketball game. Cardinals uh, looking for a date in Oshkosh Next week, first is missed there, and the only he'll get for Stubby. So free throws have been a factor in this game as South is uh, in the second half of play, 0 for 5 from the stripe. They've struggled all season, like we said, from the charity stripe, and in the second half, those five points really hurt. Jekyll will go to the free throw line. And now it's Sheboygan South bringing in a whole load of subs. This is going to be a double bonus for Jekyll, so he'll have a pair. Fond du Lac, as I mentioned, uh, about to uh, move on to the sectionals at the Culp Sports Center at the campus of UW Oshkosh. Jekyll's first is good. The follow, by the way, was on uh, Matt Marver, his first. 
Jake Holden will get one more. Casey's had an outstanding basketball game. Second rims and comes out pulled down there by Chris Rogers. Inside of a minute to play. Marber with the basketball. Between the rings uh, to Iskin in the basketball game. Another block for Fond du Lac. Strandberg also in. Here comes Fond du Lac again on the turnover. Ball stripped and a foul will go against Matt Marver. An all His academic second. right now, 39.1 seconds left. Fond du Lac in command and will move on to Friday night's sectional game. Yes, they will. And they would have the winner of uh, Oshkosh West Plymouth playing. And a timeout's going to be taken right now with 39 seconds to go. We'll take a break. Be right back to wrap it up here with the last 39 seconds of play. Final Act leads at 55-43. Before you head to the rink this season, you have to stop first at the sports shop too or the pony box. They both have a full line of baller CCM and Mega Gear. And a new line of figure skates from Rydell to Lake Placid. That's the Sports Shop 2 and the Penalty Box. Nick, as we're playing this game, uh, the other, uh, one of the other sectional, or I should say regional championship game in the, at Plymouth, uh, Oshkosh West uh, taking on the Panthers. That should be a good basketball game, too. Oshkosh West, as we know from the Fox Valley Association, a nice basketball team, but Plymouth has had a great year in the East Wisconsin Conference. I think they were 18-2 and two as they go into this game. Yeah, that's going to be a really tough game. And Oshkosh West's uh, name this week, Dan Weiss, the player of the conference in the Fox Valley Association. Rose gets the first. Uh, along with that, we should make mention, glad you brought that up. Congratulations to Drew Diener, a first-team all-conference player for the Fond du Lac Cardinals, along with Casey Jekyll, a second-teamer. Andy Rose, honorable mention. Fond du comes in with all their subs to finish out the last 36 seconds of this basketball game. On the 30, uh, Merber running one-handers good inside for South, but uh, too little too late for them with the basketball. Here is Dallas Diener. Now give it off to Jerome Allen inside to Steve Falk. His shot's blocked there. Also into the game, let's check for Fond du Singer and Renke. 13 seconds to go. Three-pointer on the way from Iskin. Rims won't go. Final axe, Dallas Diener with a strong rebound. The clock rolling to four, three. Rinky throws off three up at the buzzer. No good. And we've come to the end of this afternoon's game. Your KFC final score. Final axe Cardinals 57. The Sheboygan South Red Wings 45. Nick and I will be back to wrap it up right after this on your Fond du Lac Cardinal Basketball Report. There's no job too large or small for Spee's painting and decorating. So whether your needs are residential, commercial, or industrial, the crew from Spee's can handle it. Call Spee's at 921-7107. Spee's painting and decorating. Buying a new vehicle? Think Lens. Our factory warranty is important? Think Lens. 
want follow-up service after the sale, Lens again. With over 30 years of experience and $2 million of inventory, Lens's unsurpassed quality vehicles include one owner new truck trade-ins covered under the original factory warranty or backed by the Lens sales and service personalized warranty. So think Lens. Fond du Lac's exclusive Snowway, Snowplow dealer, and truck center of choice. And see our complete line of Lund truck accessories. Think Lens. Ah, let's go get them. Come on, guys. Let's hit the hardwood. Come on. Let's take the floor. All right. Now, wherever you are, you can get Colonel Sanders' original recipe chicken delivered. Eight irresistible pieces, two sides, and four biscuits, just $10.99. $10.99. I'm begging you now. Is that an extra drumstick? Isn't it time for some really good chicken? Welcome back to Sheboygan, your final KFC score this afternoon. Fond du Lac Cardinals 57, the Sheboygan South Red Wings 45. And Nick, uh, Fond du Lac Cardinals continue taking care of business uh, in this tournament run. Came in and played a solid game plan again. Uh, had a lot of people step up and also, you know, when you get to tournament time, people have to do that from time to time. And uh, today I thought it was uh, Jekyll and Shrum were the two that really got the job done. Uh, Drew Diener... Give credit to Sheboygan. They did a nice job of taking him out of the basketball game. But uh, the other two guys really stepping up. Sh Casey Jekyll, a huge game both offensively and defensively. Danny Shrum off the Pines was a huge factor likewise. Yeah, the Sheboygan South really keyed on Drew Dieter in this basketball game and basically took him out of the game and did a good job on him and give credit to their defense on Drew Dieter. But this is when other people have to step up. And tonight, uh, Fond today actually, keep forgetting that it's an afternoon game, Fond du Lac had a couple people step up. Uh, Casey Jekyll, as you mentioned, Dan Shrum doing a good job on the boards, tipping back shots, grabbing the offensive boards, putting them back in, and doing a good job on hitting the open jumper and playing solid defense. Both of those guys had huge basketball games today, and that's why Fond du Lac came out with the W today. Nick, when you get to tournament time and you want to advance in it, basketball teams at this level have to have quality players in a lot of positions, and they have to play quality basketball and focus on all aspects of the basketball game. Fond du Lac's depth, I think, has become a big factor in this game, or in this part of the season for Fond du Lac. A lot of different people can step out at any given time. Uh, you could have six, seven people be the leading scorer in this basketball team at any given game. Likewise, you have to uh, do a good job at each and every facet of the game. One of those areas I like to focus in on is free throw shooting. Seems pretty simple, and it's something that any kid can work on any part of his game all by himself. Uh, but uh, an area where Sheboygan really struggled, they were only 3 for 10 from the free throw line in this entire basketball game. Final Lack shoots 83% on the other side. So that, again, a big key in this game. Yeah, a lot of the Sheboygan South guys are around 40% from the charity stripe for the season, and you just cannot have that 0 of 5 in the second half from the charity stripe. And uh, those five points in the second half could have come into a factor. They did not lose by five, but closeness of the game at the end, those five points really hurt, and they really didn't put in the free throw shots tonight. And Fond du Lac did. Travis Diener has just been sizzling during the playoffs at the charity stripe. He's probably about 12 of 12 right now. He's been doing a good job, and so is the whole Fond du Lac team. Late in the game, I'm putting him the free throw shots and putting away the game, and that's what they did tonight. Well, Fond du Lac has earned a date into the sectionals uh, next week at the Cuff Sports Center in Oshkosh. We'll be able to be there and bring it back to you. Nick, let's look at tonight's start, er, final stats. Here's a look at the final stats in this basketball game for the Final Act Cardinals. 23 of 43 from the field for 53%. 10 of 12, as we mentioned, free throw shooting. 10 of 12 from the charity stripe for 83%. 25 rebounds and 8 turnovers. For Sheboygan Cell, 20 of 40 from the field for 50%. 3 of 10 from the charity stripe, including 0 of 5 in the second half of play for 30%. 18 rebounds and 8 turnovers. And as we take a look at the scoring leaders in uh, this afternoon's basketball game, Fond du Lac led by Casey Jaco with 18 points. A great game for Casey at both ends of the court. Good game defensively likewise. Going down the line there, uh, 12 points for Rose and 12 points for Danny Shrum off the Pines. South this afternoon led by Stubby with 14 points, 9 points for Gebler, 8 apiece for Bergman and Kerwin. So again, that'll wrap it up here from Sheboygan South. Again, your final KFC score is Fond du Lac 57 and Sheboygan South 45 as with Fond du Lac Cardinals move on to sectional play. Uh, we'll pass along a score we did have uh, here midway through the uh, second half or fourth quarter. Uh, 
in the other game, uh, it was Plymouth up by 13 over Oshkosh West. So uh, looking at this point, we might be playing the Plymouth Panthers, who the girls knocked off in girls basketball last night. So it could be another Plymouth and Fond du Lac in the sectionals, but we'll wait to see on that. So we remind you, basketball coming up here a little bit later this evening, Fond du Lac Gals will travel up and play to Oshkosh North and play the Appleton East Patriots for the right to go to the state tournament. We'll have that one for you at 10 o'clock tonight. And our thanks go out to our video sports crew tonight. Special thanks to uh, Cablevision over at Sheboygan. Uh, we share the video feed for them. Uh, on camera, we had our own Matt Bastion along with Fritz Zink, Tim McMunn, Brian Andrews from Sheboygan. Dave Preston has been our technical director uh, along with Kiri Kotzer from Sheboygan. Dave with all electronic graphics. Jeff Gerner and Marcus Cable is our chief technician. Nick Van Knocker with all of our stats and statistics. For Dave, Nick, and the rest of the video sports crew, I'm Mike Pfeiffer wishing each and every one of you a very good afternoon from Sheboygan, reminding you that this has been a video sports presentation. Thanks for viewing us here on Marcus Cable, Channel 7.